We can also find masters of camouflage not just in forests or in the snow, but in the depths of the oceans. One of the greatest marine masters of camouflage is perhaps the octopus. Some species of octopus match their colors and designs quite perfectly to the surface over which they are traveling. The octopus you are looking at is an expert mimic as well as having a splendid technique for camouflage. When it comes to a sandy area against which it is difficult to camouflage itself, its powers of mimicry come into play, and it takes on the form of a piece of seaweed. This octopus sometimes changes shape so expertly that it is impossible to distinguish it from a rock. There is another octopus hidden on this rock, but unless it moves, it is impossible to spot it. At first glance, this fish seems to be concealed in seaweed, but the truth is revealed when we draw back a little. What we see is not seaweed, but a seahorse created in the form of seaweed. This creature, which at first glance resembles a sea sponge, is actually a fish. Thanks to its specially created organ functioning like a fishing rod, it can hunt small fish with ease. There are two lumps on this branch. One, however, is actually a camouflaged spider. It camouflages itself when danger approaches and the spider becomes indistinguishable from the branch. This spider has no power of thought. So from where does it get the idea of camouflaging itself by mimicking a branch? Such examples are not limited to spiders. For example, there is an insect hidden among these leaves. Look carefully. There is no difference between the insect's body and a leaf. Everything has been flawlessly recreated on the insect's body, from the shape of the leaf right down to its veins. There is another insect behind these yellow leaves. Let us try to find it. There it is, a perfectly camouflaged insect. It is almost impossible to see it on the leaf.
the insect mimics the leaf down to the tiniest detail, such as the mark of rot on it. And here is another insect looking exactly like a torn leaf. Let us now consider the design of the camouflage on these animals. These insects possess no power of thought. They do not know they have to disguise themselves as leaves in order to survive. And even if they did, they could not draw a leaf on their bodies. So who is the author of the consciously planned designs on the insect's wings? There is no doubt that the designs are proof of the creator who brought the insects into being. It is well known that Darwin's theory of evolution claims that all living things are the work of chance. However, the leaf design on the wings of this tiny insect is sufficient to show that living things are the work of the creator, not chance. If an artist sets out to draw a leaf, he can only make it realistic to a limited degree. But this is not a drawing. It is a perfect three-dimensional model of a leaf placed upon the insect's body. Allah, Lord of all the worlds, created this creature to such a wonderful design and so reveals to us his art and might. This thing swinging on a branch looks at first just like a dry leaf. However, it is no such thing. It is a butterfly cocoon. Thanks to this perfect camouflage given to it by Allah, the caterpillar can complete its development without being seen by its enemies, against which it has no other defense, and can start life as a new butterfly. You are looking at a pink orchid. But in fact, it is not an image of an orchid at all. There is another living thing, completely matching the flower's color and even its shape. It is a praying mantis with its wonderful camouflage. Of course, the mantis itself did not plan the perfect similarity of color, shape, and design of both the mantis and the flower. By this example too, Allah, the creator of all, shows us his art. As Allah revealed in the Quran, he is the almighty creator. 